The guy's paid for it, but I don't know when he's travelling down from Aberdeen for his £20 item. I picked up a now 100 on CD. <laughs> I mean, it's not like they do one a year. That would make me incredibly old. Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome back to my office. Welcome to the chaos. Wow, that's quite a view. Wow, what a lot of stuff. Yes, welcome. It's been a strange day because it's my sister Jo's birthday and we have just got back from being out for a meal. We went out for lunch. Um, Mum and Dad were there and my older sister Alison and her partner. And Yeah, it was good, but it really broke up the day and it's been a struggle to kind of get going now I'm back. I just had a nap on the telly. Nap? I just had a nap on the telly? <sighs> Pause, Nick. Take a breath. Just had a nap on the sofa because I'm an old man. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd come on and try and put together a bit of a video, let you know what I'm up to. So I have been sorting out the stationery hall. So on here, I've been sorting out all the pens into bundles so I can see how many I've got of each. Um, I'll switch the view and show you. So on here, actually first, I've just sorted out this, all of this stuff here is going to a, another Joe actually, not my sister Joe, um, a viewer Joe. Um, she was saying that she homeschools and she uh, gets through all sorts of this sort of stuff. So yeah, we put together a bundle and we've done a deal on all of that. And then she noticed this amazing little biscuit barrel in one of Andrea's videos. Um, so that's going out as well. So I've just been putting everything together, ready to um, package that up. That will go out tomorrow. So if you are watching, Joe, thank you so much for the order. Really appreciate it. But here is, well, these are all the pens that I sorted. So we've got a load of these uh, Stabilo um, pens. They're quite nice. There's a few different designs, basically the same pen, but in different designs so we'll make a listing of those um, I remember these from school this design of Beryl pen has been around for decades um, very little value in those though I think I'm going to do those uh, as a pair like that um, multi listing erasers more erasers these now, how do you say that? Sted, Stedtler? 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 I don't know. A few of those. Um, these are nice. These are Pelican Pelicano. Um, interestingly, these are left-handed. You see that L on the hand there? I didn't realize you got left-handed pens, but all of these are apparently left-handed and these ones these are fountain pens says no L left-handed interesting um, yeah those are quite nice have a bit of value so that's cool so I've been sorting through those ready to list um, I also have sorted out this Henry and he's a Henry extra really nice really lovely condition um, I've given him a clean up, but he had issues with his hose. Um, the hose was a bit knackered and this was missing a wheel. So that is going. Um, and I've put the, the metal hose out for the scrap man out the front. We have a regular scrap man. I'm always putting stuff out there for him to take. And I have ordered an, a new accessories pack um, to go with the Henry and then I'm going to get him listed. Probably aim for about £80 uh, once that's ready to go. So I've been sorting that and I just thought while we were out we went to a couple of charity shops. Um, we found a few bits, nothing exciting in one charity shop. I thought I'd show you a couple of highlights. If you're interested, do you want to see? Do you want to see? the miniest of mini halls ever. 
Okay, let me perch you up there somewhere. This is um, one that rang a bell because I've sold this before and in the back of my head somewhere I remembered that had a little bit of value. So I picked it up and it's Quelf. Um, what did I pay? It wasn't a great deal. Oh, here we go. £1.75. And yeah, these sell for about 20 so it's worth having on your radar. The unpredictable party game that gives random that gives random a new name. Read Nick, come on, figure it out. <laughs> yeah, does look fun. Not one I've played, but um, worth having on your radar. Um, books were super, super cheap in there. I picked up some of these because um, there was an instant bundle and they look unread. They're really minty fresh. They're just the C.S. Lewis uh, kind of Narnia series. Um, nice instant bundle and yeah I don't think these were ever red there's no creasing on the spines so yeah I grabbed those um, super cheap in there the books so grab the bunch oh and then it's me so I bought some media most of which is very dull but this was interesting um, the album I want to listen to myself, I'm partial to a little bit of Sigrid. Um, you know, it's pure pop, but it, it's good stuff. But interestingly, when you open it up, there's a ticket stub in there, which I find quite fascinating. So Thursday the 11th of April, I can't see a year on it. Um, but yeah, so somebody was a fan and then they've... Uh, Given their album and ticket stub to charity. And I picked it up for 50p. Um, I doubt it has much value, but it's one that I really want to have a listen to because I do think she has talent. Um, so that was interesting. Um, oh, this will make me... This might make you feel old if... Because what was the first Now album you ever had? The first one I... The first one I owned was Now 8... But I also owned Now 4, which I went out and picked up. I picked up a Now 100 on CD. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I mean, it's not like they do one a year. That would make me incredibly old. Um, it's like, I think they do three a year these days. But yeah, I thought I'd grab that when I saw it. Now 100. Um, yeah, a few bits and bobs. That's quite nice. Nothing amazing. It's sealed, so I grabbed it. Um, Audrey Hepburn. Uh, media was 50p an item, so you know. Um, Andrea being Andrea, she bought some breakables, but I think these are to go with some other bits she's got. Um, uh, she ummed and ah because it, they're probably too much, really, but uh, she liked them. There's a little, uh, I guess, sugar bowl, which is pool pottery. And a matching, they kindly wrap them up. A matching, uh, I think jam pot maybe. Uh, it was three pounds for the pair. Quite nice. I think Andrew was saying that she has some other bits that that go with this, so they may be bundled up. Um, but yeah, it was nice to be out. It was lovely to, to meet up with my sister for her for her birthday, grab some lunch and chat with my parents as well. So that was all good. I've got an annoying item that I keep selling and it never leaves the building. It's this. This is a poker tabletop. Um, hi Neil, if you're watching actually. Um, Neil, a friend of ours who lives local, um, gave us this. He, didn't want to deal with it and thought we'd be able to sell it and yes we were able to sell it now I think this is the third time now I don't particularly want to ship it it weighs an absolute ton and I just thought I'd do it on local collection because I don't want to faff about we've just sold it again and the order come in and I clicked on it and guess where they live <laughs> they live in Aberdeen 
So I thought, well, you're not going to, you haven't noticed that it says now in the title, I changed it, changed the listing to be super, super sure, because it only had local collection as the shipping option. But to make it very obvious, last time they didn't come and collect and they wanted me to post it for free, um, the, I put in the title local collection only, and then in the little description box, and then in the main description, Local pickup only from Hitchin because I just don't want to deal with it. It's only like on for 20 quid and it's just not worth faffing about with. Anyway, yeah, he paid and I then messaged and said, when would you like to come and collect it from Hitchin in Hertfordshire? No response. I messaged him again the next day. I've messaged him again today. Nothing. So um, the guy's paid for it, but I don't know when he's traveling down from Aberdeen for his 20 pound item. So that's annoying. But I do have a parcel. I thought I'd thought I'd share this with you. All of you packaging junkies out there, I'm pretty sure this is my eBay packaging. Now we have, let me just pop you back in here. We have um, a middle size eBay shop. So we pay a monthly amount. I'm not sure off the top of my head how much that is. Is it is it 60 pounds for a middle store? I should know these things, but I don't. Um, but as part of that subscription fee, we get a monthly £10 packaging voucher. So because we get it, we use it. And we buy eBay packaging. That's where the, the eBay branded stuff that you might see in our videos comes from. And I think that's what this is. So I'm just going to open it. Uh, do I need... Let's see if we can do it. Here we go. So I think this will be some boxes. Yes, it is. There we go. So you don't get much for your 20, for your 10 pounds. This is, I think it's 25 little boxes. And annoyingly, the prices, you'll find this if, let me know if you feel the same. Nothing's like 10 pounds dead on. It's either just below or just above, so you either lose a little bit of your voucher or you have to pay an extra pound or two. It's just annoying. So yeah, for 25 boxes it was, I don't know what it was, 12 pounds was it or something? I don't know. Not particularly cheap, but we're given the 10 pound voucher anyway. So we use it. So these are quite a handy size. I've had these before and I find it a really useful size. They're quite small. Um, I quite like the square ones. They do square ones in this colour as well, which are a good size. So, yeah, kind of like small shoebox size. I find that a really handy size to have. So yeah, that's what I got with my this month's voucher. I think last month I got a load of um, poly mailers. Yeah, these biggins. These are humongous ones, which are also very handy. Wait for it. Mahusiv. So I think plans now are to get busy photographing all of these different pens and erasers and all of that, get some decent pictures done. Um, some of it I may be able to find product images on Google because uh, it's brand new sealed stuff which which would be good if I can find some product pictures, you know, the official ones. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and get all of that listed. Um, is the plan and then I think I'm back on um, app stuff um, we are hoping to get the Android version pushed out to some testers um, today with a bit of luck or certainly this week um, so that's coming along really nicely which is good so I think I will leave you here I will as always find a video and pop it up here somewhere if you want to please check this video out Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.